Good morning, kindergarten friends. Today is Wednesday, and I have a new tricky word for you to learn today. We're going to do some oral blending again today, and then we'll spend a little bit of time reviewing some of the consonant blends that we've learned, just so we don't get rusty on those skills. So, let's go ahead and get started. We'll start with our oral blending. Miss Hales will tap it out and then I'm gonna ask you to blend the sounds together. And if you remember correctly, usually the first few words that we do are chaining. So there's just one sound that's different from word to word and then we'll get into words that are altogether different, okay? The words that we're gonna do today are words for animals. So, okay, here we go. The first uh, few words will be chaining, though. Here we go. Listen carefully. <sighs> it, er, hitter. Okay, did you get that one right? Let's try another one. B, it, er, bitter. Okay, another one. B, et, er, better. Next one, l, e, t, er, letter, like if you write a letter, okay? The last one that's chaining, here we go, l, e, t, er, wetter, okay? Did you get those? All right, are you feeling a little more confident in that skill of the hearing the sounds in the words and then putting them all together? Usually. Our friends do a really good job with that. Okay, so let's do some animals, okay? So here we go, here's the first one. B, a, n, e, bunny, okay? Next one, t, ad, p, ol. I'll try that one more time. T, ad, Ol, tadpole, okay, here's our next one, d, a, k, o, i, o, one more time, d, a, k, o, i, o, duckling, okay, the next one is p, i, g, o, e, t. One more time. P, i, g, o, e, t. Piglet. And the last one. G, a, s, o, e, o. One more time. G, a, s, o, e, o. Gosling. Some of you have probably never heard of a gosling before. A gosling. It's kind of a goose. A gosling. Okay? All right. Let's go ahead and learn, well, let's review, why don't we, our consonant blends. And then we have one new tricky word to learn today. And we'll do that and we'll review our other tricky words a little more quickly than we did yesterday, okay? So the first consonant blend we're gonna work on today is BR, which says burr. What does it say? Burr. Remember, when we have a consonant blend, both of the letters maintain their sound. They say their sound, but when we're reading, we say it quickly. So if we were to read this, we wouldn't say b, er, we would say burr, like the word bright, or bring, or brush, okay? So we're gonna read through some of those words. Here we go. We're gonna sound it out. Let's read the BR together quickly. Burr, ick, brick, brick, okay? Next one, burr, Ag, brag, brag. Burr, branch, branch, branch. I hope you're
you're reading with me. Brush, brush, brush. All of these are sounds that we've learned. So you should be able to do this with me. I might be going a little quickly for some of you, but I need you to just push through with me. Here we go. Brr, im, brim, brim. Brr, ig, brig, brig. Okay, so I'm sounding it out, then I'm reading it slowly, then I'm reading it the way we would typically read it if we see it in a book with fluency. Here we go. Brr, ass, brass, brass. Bring, bring, bring. Burr at, brat, brat. Burr and, brand. Brand. Okay, now let's review our CR sound, which says k and er smushed together, saying it really fast. Cur, cur, like creep or crust or cruise. Okay, all of these words are going to start with that sound. Crisp, crisp, crisp. Cram, cram, cram. Are you still reading with me? Crib. Crib, crib. Crush, crush, crush. Crack, crack. Crust, crust, crust. How'd you do? Did you do good? Are you feeling confident in that? So when you're reading books, you should be looking for consonant blends and remembering or trying to work really hard to make sure that you're saying them together quickly. Okay? All right, here's our new word for today. The new word is R. Like, are we going outside today? Are you my friend? Are you a boy? We are learning. This is the word are. What's the word? Are. Spell it with me. A-R-E spells are. The word is are. Okay? It's a tricky word because it doesn't say a, ah, er, eh, right? It says r. What's the word? R. Okay, let's review some of the words that we learned yesterday. And then you'll go ahead and do your Nearpod activity. So this word, if you remember, is says. Says. My mom says. I'm a nice girl. Says. This is the word said. What's the word? Said. She said she wanted to read the book. Said. And this is the word once. 
once. I would like to go on a cruise once in my life. Once. Okay, and we'll review our other words. Here we go. I'll organize them so I can grab them easily. We have the word I, A, and if you remember yesterday, Miss Hale said you need to have these written down, and yesterday we took some time to write words down. If you don't already know the word R, then you need to write that word down too, okay, and practice that one. This is the word the, one, like the number one, all, Word, when, to, like if you go to the store, from, of, Which, which, the, not like the Halloween witch, the kind of which, like which one would you like, the green one or the blue one? What, so, no. Where, where, where is the ball? I don't know where it is. Why, why, and then yesterday we learned says, said, Once, and then today we learned this word. What was this word? Do you remember? This is the word are. Are you happy today? Are you going to read your books? Okay, so that's the word are. Tomorrow we have three new tricky words to learn. Those ones, I think, are a little bit tougher. Now, today on Nearpod, this is the activity that you're going to do. And yesterday, when Ms. Hales told you what you were going to do on Nearpod, I pulled the wrong worksheets. So, I apologize for that. These are the ones you're going to do today. So, I'll read through them quickly. We have in the word bank the word which, once, and says. The number one is Sam says no, but Beth blank yes. Number two is I went to the shop blank. And then number three says blank glass is Anne's. And then the next page says the, the words are so, said, and once. And number four says that is what Trish blank number five the plums smell blank fresh and number six Brad had blank chip okay so that's the Nearpod activity that you'll do today after you do these two worksheets on Nearpod you're going to find two stories I put them there because they have a lot of the tricky words that we've learned lately, and if we were in school, we would be reading those stories in school. So you don't have to do anything with them, but I did put them there for you to listen to. I put the story there, I also read it to you. So if you click on the little arrow, it will read the story pages to you. Okay, so there's two 
very short stories. I think one is four pages and one is two pages, but they're pretty quick. So just listen to those stories and look, um, look at the words as Miss Hales is reading to you and you'll see a lot of the tricky words that we've learned, okay? Have a great day and we will see you back here tomorrow for more learning. Bye friends.